Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to Six News. Today we're checking out the new paid packs for Rainbow Six Siege, which are dropping with the Snow Brawl event today. I've got one just for logging in as usual, and you'll be able to get one from a challenge as well. Let's take a look at the collection. So we've got our seasonal skin here. It says available in bundle, so we'll look at the bundles later. But it's a super basic skin. Like that is very basic like that's year one christmas level basic and uh, if you want a nice you know snow themed skin for your weapons then certainly decent enough i guess for that uh, christmas theme then we've got our blackbeard in a christmas outfit and i don't know if this is the same christmas ever he's had before or not uh very simple though very simple then we've got castle Definitely a bit more unique here with some uh, interesting colors for sure. We've got Osa in a pretty nice one. I actually quite like the colors on that a lot. Then we've got Rook. Yeah, that's a nice one. Actually, very good for the winter theme. Then we got Buck. That is kind of ugly Christmas sweater kind of style. And I love it. That's cool very nice we've got ash i'm sure that again that's the free ones before and then we've got our new operator thorn that is uh, certainly colorful we've got frost oh my god wow <laughs> and then we've got vigil here oh my god like th how is this christmas themed it looks like he's literally on fire it's the opposite of a Christmas theme. Although I guess you could have a nice fire in Christmas, so maybe that does actually work. And again, I think this is the previous free bundle you could get for Monty. So at least if you've already got some of this stuff, uh, if it is indeed the free ones before, then at least that won't cost you anything and you won't be able to get it again as duplicates because there's no duplicates in these packs. So at least that is a thing. Then going down here, we've got our Vigil headgear, definitely unique, that's for sure. We've got Buck, quite nice. We've got Rook, we've got Ash, <laughs> even got the freaking ears. Then we've got Thorn, holy freaking moly. Well, that is definitely something. We've got Monty in his very felt Christmassy hat. And then we've got the aptly named Double Frost headgear. That is uh, pretty good. Oh my god. Osa with some reindeer uh, antlers on top. Um, yep, yeah, and a red nose as well. Oh my god, she's, she's uh, Rudolph. Then we've got Polar Fangs. Certainly <laughs> interesting. Oh man. And then of course we've got our snow beard for Blackbeard there. Then going down here we've got ooh, okay, these actually look a bit more interesting. I quite like that. Gift wrapped. Toy crafter. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Well, this is annoying. It keeps resetting me to the top every time I come out. Now this is good, this is a kind of, not quite exotic level, but 3D weapon skin. Decent enough, like a cat on the side of it. And then we got Frost, bit basic I would say. We've got kind of a Yeti or something going on there. We've got a nice Christmassy one for Blackbeard. We have, what is this? Ah, uh, Rudolph. So she definitely is cosplayer as Rudolph. And then we got Better Not Cry, which, uh, Crumpus on the side? I guess that's where we're getting on the fire then, okay. And then we have Buck with what the frick is this? Royal Jaw. These are decent. At least some of them are decent. Some of them look really simple, like especially the frost one. That one's okay. Again, they're kind of weirdly all over the place. And we've got crushing canes here. 
Well, if you want to go all Christmassy with Monty, you can certainly do that. Oh my god, is this, is this, oh my god, it's a universal attachment skin, holy moly, and it showed me on a freaking pistol? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I love how it showed me on a nice gun and then gave me a pistol afterwards. Well, that looks cool because it looks a little bit glittery and frosty. That could work really well with black ice, so that's actually... And I love the fact that it's universal, which is brilliant. That's good. And then we have this here, which is the Trophy Reindeer. We've got the Hail Queen. Nice. Then we've got this, which are Operator Portraits. So, of course, expect these to be in every paid pack from now on with every single event. And we can see we have 10 here in these paid packs. And uh, you're definitely going to see these. So this... For a portrait for your operator, it's going to be 300 credits each. And you maybe, of course, might get one free or a couple free if you're lucky. But uh, that's a lot of money for an operator portrait. So, yeah. But let's go through them. So we got Vigil. We have Rook. We got Frost. We got Osa. Oh, my freaking God. We've got Buck. That looks really cool. We got Ash. <laughs> Ash looks freaking terrible. And we got Thorn, uh, equally terrible with those stupid cat ears. We've got Castle. That looks kind of cool. We got Monty, um, a bit constipated. We've got, oh my god, Blackbeard. That is epic. I actually, ugh, that may be worth it. God damn it. And then we've got our card background. And it's super simple. I guess, unique wise. Because these events will return now every so often, but you're talking at least a year or two before they come back. So stuff like these cards are going to be super unique. I just don't think they're worth, obviously, buying packs for. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments below about that. Now let's take a look at the bundles because that's where you should buy the stuff rather than buying the packs. So if there's something you really want, you should look here. So we've got the Snowflake bundle. We have, of course, our rather basic skin. But I think this might be worth it. So yeah, it's kind of uh, obviously glittery looking, kind of frosty look to it. That could work with quite a lot of different skins. So for me, that might be worth picking up this bundle, possibly. That's 1,600 for that. Problem is, of course, weapon skin sucks balls. Don't need the charm. I'd be just buying that. Kind of probably not worth it, but I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Then we've got the Ash Bundle. So let's see what this comes with. I want to see if it has the card in it. It looks like it does. So we've got uniform headgear. We've got our weapon skin. We don't have a card. Because at the right hand side, it's got a little thing that I totally thought was the representation for the player card. But I guess it's just an icon for the... Headgear and uniform? That doesn't give you the player number, player things at all. So we've got Blackbeard. We've got uh, our Buck one, our Castle, Frost, Monty, Osa, Rook, Thorn, Vigil. And then that's it. All right, I take that back. Look at the description here. It says card portrait. So it says you do get one. And I guess that is what that icon means. But it doesn't show you it when you view the bundle. That's definitely dumb that you can't see that. But it, well, from the description and all that, it sounds like you do get it, but it just doesn't, like, tell you. Yeah, like that's definitely not a good way of doing it. It looks like they've literally not added a thing on the HUD here for it, so they've added it to the picture instead. So apparently you do get it with those bundles. So yeah, my first impressions are that this is a very underwhelming collection pack. And if you do want to actually get anything specific, make sure you do buy the bundles, not the packs. And I hope you enjoy the event that's going to be coming up later today. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of this collection. What's your favorite items? And I'll catch you next time.